So we're replacing a power supply for a CCTV system. Uh, the old power supply is only outputting 17 volts, which is not enough to power the TV monitors. The, there's monitors and there's also cameras that are in the store. And uh, the cameras can run off at 12 volts, but the power supply needs to send 24 volts to the TV or we won't have a picture. So important to replace, to remove uh, the wires. You, you take take all the screws out, not all the way, but the, the every every camera and TV uh, sends a, a red wire and a white wire. Uh, red is negative, white is or black. Sorry, a red wire and a black wire, and uh, we connect the wires to opposite sides. To opposite terminals. This thing basically uh, it's wall mounted and then it gets the power from the uh, from a, you just plug it into a UPS or power outlet and it powers all the cameras 24 hours a day. But unfortunately it's not giving us uh, the voltage that we want. In this case some of the uh, we, we've got multiple cameras or TVs on the same terminal, so we've twisted the wires together. I don't particularly like the twists. You can see the monitor in the corner. And we've got three, four cameras down. Well, actually three, because it's only powering three. Uh, having a wire stripper is very handy for this kind of thing. You just need to put it in the right gauge. So when we were replacing, uh, installing the wires, we just slide them underneath the screw, uh, and then with a screwdriver, just screw everything in all the way down. Now it's important to put this plastic lid on top. This prevent protects you from uh, getting electrocuted. Uh, only do this work while you're while it's powered off. So the, the system is powering on now, and you can see the cameras are coming back. We're just gonna go to check on them, and uh, they look they look okay. Uh, we're outputting 26.3 volts. I had to adjust it upward because it, it's normally 24 volts, but 24 w was was causing interference on the camera for some reason. They weren't getting a good picture. And the way to adjust the voltage is to go to that screw, that white screw. You can increase the voltage by turning it to the right, and you can decrease the voltage by turning it to the left. So, on a very low voltage. We've got a good picture on the camera, but no picture on the TV. I uh, had to keep adjusting the voltage until I got to uh, exactly what I wanted. Had to keep adjusting up. Uh, here is still a bit blurry on some of the cameras. Uh, to keep going. Keep going keep going so we keep adjusting the voltage um, until we get to that sweet spot we want the lowest voltage possible but at the same time we want a clear picture on the TVs and a, a clear picture coming out of the cameras on the DVR monitor so what we ended up is about uh, 26.4 volts.